Hey guys, welcome to the Sim Racing Paddock. I'm William Marsh, and this is our review on the GTR Simulator GTAF cockpit. This cockpit is a lower mid range model, which also comes with a seat, gear shifter mount, and triple monitor stand for around the $500 mark. For that fairly reasonable price, you get a solid racing experience. Let's take a look. Setting up the cockpit was a relatively uneventful affair, with all the parts coming together quite easily. However, there is a bit missing in regards to the adjustability factor, which is kind of funny, given that the A in the model name stands for adjustability. You can move the pedal plate back and forth on the cockpit, and minor adjustments to the shifter mount, but for a cockpit that's being marketed for its adjustability, I'd expect quite a bit more. Another thing I noticed while setting up the cockpit is that it's primarily intended for Logitech G series wheels, and the mounting holes show for it. While the wheel mounting deck allowed for different wheels such as the ones from Thrustmaster and Fnatic to work, the pedal mount and shifter plate are designed for Logitech. Luckily, I could just duct tape my T3PA to the pedal plate and it would work just fine. I could also use the TH8 RS's soft mount and that worked well as well. However, now let's get to one of my primary problems with the GTAF cockpit, and that is the pedal mount. The way the pedal mount works is through a ring securing onto a notch on the cockpit. It is never truly secure, and it makes it so there is some flexing and wobbling with the pedal plate. I think this would be a major concern for people looking to use load cell pedals with the setup. With my T3 PA pedals, I was able to tune out the flex in the pedal plate but I don't see the pedal plate being good for higher end sets. For the wheel plate, it works surprisingly well. Once you make sure you have everything tightened as much as it can go, it's pretty darn sturdy. I found that under some vigorous driving like drifting, it could have a little bit of back and forth movement, but not too much there. All things considered, it's a fairly solid cockpit in terms of wheel flex. Ergonomically speaking, I felt that this cockpit put me in a fairly reasonable seating position. I was able to reach everything comfortably and didn't experience any discomfort or fatigue after extended periods of driving. The seat is actually surprisingly comfortable, especially considering it's a budget seat. If there's any gripe I have, it would be that the seat incline adjustment could be a little more sturdy. It feels a bit flimsy, if that makes any sense, where you might feel it rock a bit but in my experience, I felt it to be acceptable. Also consider you could theoretically replace it with a higher end seat. As mentioned earlier in the review, this cockpit comes with a triple monitor mount. And if the pedal plate was my least favorite part of the cockpit, this may be a close second. The monitor mount struggles in two departments, adjustability and the fact that it's just way too far from the driver. In terms of adjustability, there isn't any. You can't adjust the angle of the monitors, which means they're stuck at around a 30 degree angle. For some drivers, they would be alright with that, but it would have been great to have the ability to adjust the angles around a bit. If you were to buy this cockpit, I'd recommend going for the GTA non-F model, which is just the cockpit and no monitor stand, and then purchasing a separate stand with more adjustability. The GTR Simulator GTA-F is a weird mix for me. There are some elements where I was pleasantly surprised, and then some elements of it left me disappointed. For the wheel mount, I found it to be fairly solid and does well. However, the long distance to the monitor mount and the unstable pedal mount are two major sore spots for the cockpit. If the cockpit had a more sturdy pedal plate and the ability to move the monitors closer, I could see this being a great entry-level cockpit. However, as is, it's just merely a good one. So now, let's get on to my pros and cons. And like always, let's start with the pros. Solid wheel mount with little flex. Comfortable cockpit with good ergonomics. Includes shifter and triple screen mount. Relatively comfortable seat. And now the cons. The pedal mounting plate is unstable. The monitor mount is simply too far away. Limited adjustability, especially considering this is marketed as the adjustable one. The seat is a little flimsy with some flex. Primarily compatible with just Logitech products. Now, let's get to the big question. 
Do I recommend the GTR Simulator GTAF cockpit? Well, if you are looking to stay in the Logitech or Thrustmaster ecosystem and have a bit of a tolerance to the pedal mount, then I would say this could be a solid option. However, I would recommend just going for the GTA cockpit, which would save you around $140 to $150 and then getting a separate monitor stand. But this will also beg the question, could you actually get a better cockpit for a little more? With cockpits like the Semita K2 and the GT Omega Art cockpit in the similar price range, those might offer a better value. But in my experience, I found this to be an adequate cockpit and I enjoy it quite a bit. So these are my thoughts on the GTR Simulator GTAF cockpit. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and help keep us on track. For the Sim Racing Paddock, I'm William Marsh, and you have a great rest of your day.